folks, Ariel over here at Finest with another peek inside the beehive. Once again, due to just the crazy busyness of this time of year in life, um, this is actually from most of a month ago. This was filmed June 13 and I have peeked inside the hive since then and was just too busy to film it. But um, most of these checks are not actually, I'm very aware of that, not actually for the benefit of the bees at the moment this is more about me observing what they're doing and hopefully learning to be a better beekeeper but i thought some of you guys might enjoy a peek inside the hive as well so i had time to set up the camera this evening when i had done this so anyway that's what you're looking at here um, this is our horizontal hive those first five frames that i'm looking through right now were the original um, frames from the nuke that we built those adapters for to make them fit into our horizontal hive that seems to be have been working out well um, you'll see in the center of each of these combs that there's now what looks like a lot of empty cells those were all full of baby bees originally but um, those frames are now the furthest from the door and the majority of the baby bees have hatched out of them and they're being refilled those little empty cells with honey toward the top like you can see there the kind of waxy looking closed cells are completed honey and then a lot of the middle there that used to have baby bees is now full of pollen if the light hits it just right um, you can sometimes see all the different colors of yellows and creams and oranges in the pollen because early in the spring they, they did haul in quite a bit of that. Anyway, as the, the rest of the bees finish hatching out of those five frames, we will eventually hopefully get those out and have just the, the correct size of frames for the horizontal hive in there. But doing this, these little adapters does seem to have worked pretty well to get that uh, hive nucleus into this horizontal hive. Um, Anyway, so I'll continue to comment through here on what you're looking at, and if you're interested in uh, learning about what's going on inside the hive and what they're doing like I am, you might find that interesting. Here, once again, you can see how in the center kind of all the brood has emptied out and they've packed new honey around the edges and a lot of pollen in the middle. That whole center was full of pollen on both sides of that frame. <laughs> This frame also has a lot of pollen in the center, a little honey around that top edge, and I was able to spot a few drones. I don't know if the camera was close enough for you to see the bees I'm pointing at. They're about twice the size of an ordinary worker bee that would be a male bee, and I was starting to see a handful of them. Also kind of behind my hand there, about my wrist level, you can see the kind of yellow pollen, yellows, golds, creams, whatever, reflecting in the sunlight as all those cells are packed with pollen. And down there kind of toward the bottom right there is a little bit of brood that hadn't hatched yet out of that frame but I wasn't seeing any more new baby bees being laid in those um, frames, which is good because I want to be able to get them out of the hive. So the queen has definitely moved over toward the door end and onto the new frames that we want her to be on.
here once again we got little honey at the top and lots and lots of pollen. I think most of this came off various willows and such in our area in the spring, um, but you can kind of see the different yellow shades there in the center as they've packed a lot of those cells full of pollen, which is something bees eat in addition to just nectar. onto the first you know new frame that the bees completely build out you can again see honey that lighter color right around the top and then kind of the center there is uh, all brood that was baby bees that the queen laid since they were moved into the new hive on both sides and some of them are already hatching out as well you can see individual little holes at times there where they they've started hatching but that frame alone told me the queen had moved her laying operation over more toward the door which is where from my understanding she prefers to be and that's why the the wrong frames are further back from the high of uh, door here you can see um, the the little ones that kind of bulge out those are drone cells that's um, kind of an extra large cap on the top because they need a little more space because they're so much of a bigger bee so there was some drone cells on that frame in addition to all the regular worker bee cells. This frame was a little bit of an experiment. Almost all of them I put a sheet of wax foundation in there and this one I did not. I just put the wood frame to see what they would do and they drew it. That side doesn't look quite as tidy as the other but it does have a lot of drone cells. The other side was the, the same frame and they drew it out really well. It was sandwiched between two other sheets and they created all that comb and filled it with baby bees. It's pretty incredible how much work these guys can do.
on this frame, what I was trying to spot, though I didn't manage to, is I think the queen was somewhere on this one. Um, there was tons and tons of freshly laid eggs and teeny tiny bee larvae. Um, the camera can't pick them up at the way I had it set. Um, I'm Maybe in the future I'll be able to figure out a different setup if the lighting is right where I can actually show you that. But it looked like this is the frame she was actively laying eggs on, and it would have been the third frame away from where the front door of the hive is but that was freshly drawn out wax and it was completely loaded with little tiny eggs and teeny teeny larva and a couple drone cells and a little honey at the top. Once again, this is another frame that they've fully drawn out, filled honey in at the top, and lots of brood in the uh, kind of center and toward the bottom of that frame. And we're on to the, uh, what am I looking at there, the second to last or the last frame of the, the hive? second to last frame and here once again there's honey along the top which is where they like to store their food for the babies and lots and lots of hatching brood in the center some of it hatched some of it not um, you can see part of that circle is emptying out and part is still full and in places you can't even see what's going on because there's so many worker bees on the surface get to the very last frame by the door and this was mostly honey and nectar the top especially on the side you're about to see was getting very full with closed honey that space where there's no bees working is all finished capped uh, honey and the rest of that was pretty full of nectar anyway so when I next get a chance to film I'm gonna see if I can get better at my bee filming and get a little more close-up so you guys can see better what is going on but check back for another update on the horizontal hive we hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.